Welcome back to my channel. It's Alice Walker here from AliceWalker.London. Today we are here to do 10 minutes or under 10 minutes makeup look. I've seen this video going around and I've always wanted to do this video. This is the look that I normally do anyway. On an everyday basis, it takes me 5 to 10 minutes max, literally, to do my makeup because I'm a very busy person and I'm a working mom. I've got lots of things that I do, so I do not have actually have time to be sitting around for 45 minutes to an hour doing my makeup. If you feel like this is the video for you and this is something that you would like to recreate, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment and come be a part of my YouTube family. Alright guys, so let's get on with it. Before we start, I'm actually gonna grease my lip. I feel like my lip is a little bit dry, so you're gonna grease it a bit. So we're gonna start off by priming my face. I don't usually prime my face, but um, today I'm gonna prime my face. Actually, everything is going to be big, quick, quick, quick. I don't usually just dab in the primer. So just the center of my face. And then I'll be putting a little bit on my forehead. I don't like actually massaging it in. You know, I like to dab it on my face and I don't actually put it everywhere on my face because to be honest with you, my face doesn't really need a primer that much. But when I'm actually going out in the evening, I like to put a lot of primer on, but during the day, I don't bother putting primer on. I put my sun cream on after my moisturizer, and then that's it really. My eyebrows are not filled in. Usually I come on camera and my eyebrow is already filled in, but today it's not filled in because I wanted to start from scratch, you know, let you guys see from scratch how I do my under 10 minutes makeup look. I normally start with my eyebrow, but today we are not going to start with the eyebrow. I'm just going to go straight to my foundation. So, yeah, there we go. Sorry guys, I forgot to tell you which foundation I'm using. I'm using Too Faced Born This Way and is Chai. There it is. This foundation is really, really good. I love the color as well. My skin is actually going through some, some stuff. I can't tell you what it's going through, but it's going through some stuff. Some major stuff. <laughs> All right. After I've applied the foundation, I'm actually going to buff it in. So this is actually going to be a quick, quick, quick makeup look. You're doing it with time. This look is actually going to look like it's made up, you know, like put together look, but at the same time, it's going to be quick. Because like I said, you know, sometimes when I do my everyday makeup look, I feel like my face is bare. I mean, I do prefer um, a full face. I do prefer a full face. I'm not going to lie. I'm a full coverage girl. <laughs> That's what I like when I'm doing my makeup. This type of makeup actually makes me feel and makes me look like my face is bare. I'm not actually applying too much foundation under my eye because I'm going to be putting concealer under my eyes. I've got a little bit of black marks peeking through so if you feel like that and you're not very confident going out like that, you know, you can always put more foundation on like I'm coming to do now. So I'm actually going to put a little bit more foundation to cover all my black marks but it doesn't really matter if everything doesn't cover for me anyway i mean i don't mind if everything don't cover because like i said it's just a quick under 10 minutes and everyday makeup look after my foundation the next stage i go to is my eyebrow so these are the stuff that i'm gonna actually be using for my eyebrow again you know as usual i'm using my la pro concealer in the color fawn so this is what i'm going to be using to curve the brows and this is a spoolie obviously i'm going to use this to comb it out before i fill it in and okay, this is the eyebrow pencil I'm using today. Um, the Rimmel Scandalous Eyes Exaggerated is in the color 02 Chocolate Brown. This eyebrow pencil I really love. And then we're actually going to go over with this wonderful brow. Again, it's from Rimmel. It's an eye gel. It's going to, you know, help it give it a little bit of a... It's going to, you know, give it a little bit of like a shooky, like a shooky look. I don't know if that's a word, but yeah, it's going to give it a little bit of a shooky look. Is this really a word? Is that even a word? I have no idea. I'm actually going to comb the brow up. Oh God, a girl do not have any eyebrow. I wasn't blessed with one. Actually, I was actually blessed with one. I'm not sure what happened. Over the years, when I started shaving it off, it actually stopped growing. By the time I finish, God is actually going to bless me with an eyebrow. You know, I'm going to finish with a blessed eyebrow, with full eyebrow. <laughs> We're going to actually use this pencil to 
draw it. I need my little mirror for this one. My eyebrows are actually never the same. They never the same length. I start off doing the outline of the eyebrow. I hope they're all in the same level. You know, I can never get my eyebrow to look exactly the same. Anybody out there who can get their eyebrows to look the same, shout me out. Show me. <laughs> I need to have a word with you because I can never get my eyebrows to be exactly perfect. I've done the outline and then I'm going to share, um, share the lower part of the brow. There it is. And then I go over with the eyebrow gel. Like you can see it looks like mascara from the middle. And just comb it up. Yeah, again, we're going to do the same on the other side. We're actually going to clean up the eyebrows with this one, the LA Pro Concealer in the color font. This one is totally messed up. I'm not sure what I did. So for now, I'm still going to carry on and blend in the bottom. For the top, I'm going to, because I want it a little bit darker with the top, I'm going to actually mix a little bit of my foundation with the concealer. I'm going to put a slightly, a little bit of the concealer on the back of my arm and I'm actually going to mix it up with my foundation because I want it a little bit darker at the top I'm using an angled brush to carve the top half of the brush now we're gonna go and highlight under my eye I'll be using this concealer here I just got this yesterday somebody was talking about it and they said it's very good so I decided to try it and it's the Meet Your Match and it's misguided and it's a liquid concealer and it's color 180. I've heard really, really good positive um, feedback from this foundation so I decided to use it today. Concealer. One. This is how I want mine so. It feels really creamy. I like the way it feels. I'm going to be using my red lipstick for my cheek. It works, it works, it works. You know, just be, I'll just put dots there. And I will blend it in with my brush there. Like so. I really like that. And now we're going to go in and blend in the concealer. See, it's a little bit subtle, so it's quite subtle. And I'm going to go over the eyelid because I don't want it to look a different colour. I normally like to extend my concealer all the way to my temples. Because I, for me, I feel like it looks better. Yes, um, I, I'm going to go in a little bit with um, not, not too much, you know. That's all I'm doing. I can't forget my nose quote. I'm going to use that to buff it in. I'm going to set the concealed areas with my powder. Because I'm quite oily, I normally like to put quite a bit of powder and some on the nose. Do not forget the nose. I'm going to apply just a little bit of um, eyeshadow on my lid because I like to get a little bit of definition. Yeah, we're going to go for fudge. So this is the shade here. We're looking for definition. Definition. There it is. So this is all I'm doing for the eyeshadow. I'm not doing much. I just wanted a bit of definition on my eyelids. I'm going to do um, liner. This is actually optional. You don't have to do it. If you feel like you can't finish this in 10 minutes, you don't need to do this. You can go without the liner and just put mascara on. We're not doing a dramatic one. We're just doing a, a small line. I smudged it. Oh, fuck you. Oh, it's fine. 
I blinked. Again, this is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't have enough time. But like I said, I can do this within 10 minutes. So I'm putting my lashes on because I do like the way lashes look on me. Did I smudge it again? And I'm actually going to go over the whole face with my setting powder, Hello Happy, um, from Benefit, and it's the color 11. So it will blend everything in and make everything look very seamless. Can you see the difference? Can you see how everything is already blending in? So I'm going to apply it on my whole face. I'm actually going to apply mascara on the lower part of the lid. I'm just glowing it under here a little bit. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at that! Mm -hmm. Oof. I think I put too much on the other side, but it's looking so good. Okay, we'll put in some on the top here. The lipstick we're going to be using today is from Rimmel London and it's called the Lasting Finish Matte. 710 honey nude it's actually um, a matte finish because it's a quick 10 minutes um look i don't want anything too extravagant and uh, you know this is my signature look well guys um yeah this is the makeup. The makeup is done and literally, 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 it took me 10 minutes. Um, this is the makeup done, you know, just nice, simple. I feel like it's still quite nice. So now, guys, I'm going to do the hair quickly. The hair is not part of it. This is my 10 minutes makeup look. The makeup took me under 10 minutes um, to do this makeup here um, because I'm actually quite used to makeup. It didn't take me that long. It wasn't a lot involved in this makeup. It took me literally that long to do this makeup and I think it came out pretty good. And the eyelashes has given it a little bit of a touch. I will leave the link in my description bar for this hair. It's 14 inch body um, wave metal pattern. So if you want to know where this hair is from it's from awl beauty and i'm gonna leave the link in my description description below so this is my under 10 minutes makeup look i hope you guys like this look and um, if you like this look and guys if you want to try this look please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment and come be a part of my youtube family thank you guys for watching take care god bless come again soon